¿Qué piensan de traer un barco sobre una montaña? ¿Qué piensan de esto? De que no se va a poder subirlo, porque no es chico. Si hubiera sido un pequeño, chiquito, ese lo puede subir rápido, como es tremendo. De repente los cables se arrancan y nos matan. Además él tiene tres pisos. ¿Quién va a poder empujarles? Tremendo barco. Si hasta una canoa no podemos jalarlo. ¿Ustedes tienen miedo que les va a pasar algo con el barco? Tienen miedo de perder su vida. No tienen miedo de perder su vida. Si nosotros vamos a estar empujando el barco y el dueño del barco debe estar ahí atrás del barco también. Si es que nosotros morimos, él también muere, pues, el dueño. No, no, nosotros no vamos a morir solo y el dueño no va a morir. No sé, aquí falta gente. What everyone has feared has happened. A massive metal coupling has snapped in half, and the ship slides back to where it started. Herzog is stranded in the jungle with a 300-ton steamship that won't move, and time is running out. He needs money to move the ship, but no one will invest unless the ship moves first. Behind his back, some of the actors are talking about getting out while the getting is good. Only a few of the cast, crew, and Indians believe in his dream anymore. Even Herzog is beginning to wonder. Of course, we are challenging nature itself, and it hits back. It just hits back, that's all. And that's grandiose about it, and we have to, to accept that it is much stronger than we are. Kinski always says it's full of erotic elements. I don't see it so much erotic, I see it more full of obscenity. It's just, and nature here is vile and base. I wouldn't see anything erotical here. I would see fornication and asphyxiation and choking and fighting for survival and growing and just rotting away. Of course, there's a lot of misery, but it is the same misery that is all around us. The trees here are in misery, and 
the birds are in misery. I don't think they, they sing, they just screech in pain.